Yeah, I'd say that this is probably the first thing you should purchase is one of these scan tools. Hey everybody and welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the CG Sullet. This is an OBD2 scan tool. Um, I'm gonna explain why I think that this is probably one of the first things you should be purchasing as you get working into cars if you are just starting. Uh, as you can see here behind us, we have our M3 shell. We have been pulling this apart. We've got an engine uh, just out of camera view here that is slowly getting pulled apart and redone. So we'll have a lot of video series on that. But this build here has brought me basically full circle to an issue that I keep putting off, and that's having a nice scan tool. Now, my very first video series that we put on our channel was supercharging this E46 3 Series, and that's not a small thing to do. That's a fairly advanced install, and it showed my channel basically right in the middle of this build. Unfortunately, we didn't start recording and posting videos when I first got this car and I really regret that. And it showed us doing this huge project and that's not where I started and that's probably not where you're gonna start either. Before you even get your first socket set, yeah, I'd say that this is probably the first thing you should purchase is one of these scan tools. It's gonna tell you things that you need to know about your car. And if you're not just buying the cheap $30 ones, those can look at your car but they're not gonna do what this one can specifically. This one actually, will deep dive into your specific brand. Uh, this one's been set up for BMW, Mini, and Rolls-Royce, which is really cool. So it'll be all the cars under BMW's ownership. This is what you should be purchasing first. And it kind of goes like a buy once, cry once kind of thing. So you wanna make sure that you get the right scan tool and get the one that you know is gonna work. You're not getting mad at this $30 one you bought from who knows where breaks after the second week of owning it. This is gonna be something that you can buy once and own before getting into the really expensive module scanners and actually the, the bigger, really expensive, several thousand dollar computers. This is the very first step. And I feel like this price range is something that's very doable. It's a little bit difficult at first because you, like I said, you can find ones for cheap, but they won't do what these do. And an argument against getting one of these is, well, you could just, go and get your car scanned at a, at a auto parts store. Yeah, you, you can, but what happens when you're, well, I, I'm not, I can't get this over to my auto parts store and they're definitely not gonna come over here. And when you do get over there, it's not like you can play with their scan tool. By the way, they do have an expensive one like this. You're not gonna be able to look at the live data. They're not gonna sit there and let you play with their scan tools all day you're gonna to wanna to have your own. They're gonna tell you whatever code's up on your dash and they're gonna to try to get you back inside and sell you that part. That's really all there is to it. And this gives you the freedom of being able to play with it. There's live data at this price point. So it's really fun to be able to own it, play with it, and get to know your car on a little bit more personal level versus just every time a light shows up on the dash, taking it to somebody else and asking for help. So before we get into this unit specifically, make sure that you are subscribed, like the video if you are enjoying today's content, and also make sure to check us out on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports. So this is how this unit came, came in a nice box. Inside that box is a soft pouch. It's got some padding on it, it's got a nice zipper, but I do recommend if you're going to be buying one that's a little bit nicer, finding a case like this. This is just a little hard shell case I'll have uh, everything you see today linked in the description below. Inside this case, you'll find your OBD2 scan tool and the cable for it. You'll also find a USB port. This will go from your scan tool to your computer to do updates. This isn't a wireless one. That's not always a bad thing. Uh, the update was like two or three minutes. It took no time at all. And you actually have to, from my experience, uh, some of the other reviews that I was looking at, uh, it, it, they didn't show this process, but you need to actually download their update helper, um, and I'll have that link in the description below, and you'll select that you've got an SC530, you'll download their little thing, and then you'll select your language, and then I selected BMW. It was really easy to figure out. I am not a huge tech person, and we had it figured out in like 10 minutes. So you'll have to do that to get the BMW specific part of this installed. The scanning part, itself, you can take it right out of the case and plug it right into the car. The other reason for owning one of these that does a little bit more of a deep dive into your engine is cars like this supercharged 330. This does not have the original tune on it. 
And so there are codes that get hidden. There's things that should show up on the dash that don't. And I'm not saying that this is going to fix all that. What I am saying is I'm gonna be able to see it now. Uh, that, those are tuning issues. But again, I can't take this car to AutoZone and sit there and play on their scan tool all day. They're not gonna let me do that. So let's go hook this up. Um, it's not showing any dash lights right now, but let's go see what we can find and let's go play with some of the BMW specific features. All right, so most BMWs, your OBD2 reader is gonna be over here under the driver footwell. And this car, I actually have an extension. So I purchased this off of Amazon. I'll have this linked in the description below as well. And basically what I did was I took the original wiring and ran it up over here to the center console. And then that way I can just kind of tuck it in there and shut the lid. So this makes it easy access where I work on this car a lot more than what most people would. So we're just going to plug this in here. Sorry, we're doing this one handed. The other thing I forgot to mention is that this doesn't take any batteries which is good and bad. You don't have to worry about your batteries exploding if you leave this in the garage and it gets cold and hot and things like that. Um, the downside, you have to have it plugged in to see anything going on. So where I was playing with this originally, I had to make sure that I had power to it to see the menu system where on others, you can just turn it on. Again, I think this is probably an upside not a downside. All right, so I have the car on the on position. This would be your second key. Looks like this booted up pretty quickly. This is your main menu. And then you're gonna have OBD2, BMW, settings, data manager, and update. And I wanna show that this actually does have, uh, well, I would assume, I, from past experience, there's no dash light on it right now, but I'm assuming there is one. So we'll go here to auto scan. We'll see here in just a second. Okay, so that actually didn't take very long, about 30 seconds, and it says here that basically my light is on. Codes found six. Um, there are three monitors that are not applicable, six of them that are. So let's actually, let's go here to codes found and let's see what those say. Um, and then you can see the function keys here. That's sometimes, see how it says, okay, F1. That'd be this guy here. If you press yes, sometimes it doesn't work as an enter. Uh, so far, the UI of this has been absolutely fantastic. Very simple to use. Uh, I know a lot of scanners get really complicated, but this is up, down, left, right, yes, no, and then your functions. Uh, the yes not being here in the middle it's kind of frustrating because I'll, I'll click the middle all the time and that's not enter but other than that the ui of this has been fantastic and that's something that will actually turn a lot of people off to these because they're so complicated and you're so new to cars you have no idea what you're looking at the interface won't let you just scan the car it's wanting you to go through all these menu systems this has been very straightforward so let's check out our codes i have a misfire detected with low fuel I have an EVAP leak, a very small leak, EVAP purge control, mass airflow sensor A, and then system one to rich, and coolant temperature below operating temperature. And then misfire detected with low fuel. And there we are back to the top. I know that I had codes on here because if I drive this car without letting it warm up, I'll get this code right here. It's not on the dash anywhere. There are no dash lights at all. So again, another reason why having a scan tool yourself is worth it. Now, this scan tool can actually go and reset airbag lights, again, specific to BMW. So things like airbag lights, your brake pad sensors, oil mileage durations, things like that. So let's actually go and we'll do, we'll see what um, some of the BMW functions are and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so it read the VIN, and I don't know my whole VIN, but I know the JU and the 911. So this is that, so completed. It's saying it's failed to decode, which is interesting. So I think that just means we have to enter it in manually. So three series, E46. I don't I, I don't blame the scanner for not being able to decode it. This car is all whacked out. 
So this is a perfect test of this scan tool. If this scan tool can go and talk to this car, it can probably talk to any of yours. Now we're gonna select what model and engine. 30 ci M54 Coupe, USA, left-hand drive, 2001. Now that we're in the car here, we've got diagnosis and service. There's your DME, your transmission controls, your vehicle immobilizer. Wow, okay. This is deeper into this car than and some of the stuff that I've seen. Uh, stability control. I know that my stability control was is broken in the off position. So I just, I never fixed it because I didn't want it to be accidentally broken in the on position. So, I can read codes. Look at that. Look at all those codes I've got. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is fantastic. If you have a BMW you're working on it, if you don't buy one of these scan tools, you are missing out. This is crazy. You'll spend so much money just getting this information from somebody else or finding out the hard way, finding something that's broken and you loop yourself back to, well, I should have bought one of those scan tools. This is worth the money. Just, just looking at this little stuff here. I spent several hundred dollars at BMW to have that looked at when I first got this car. And I got the car back and they said, oh, um, it's broken. Awesome, thanks. I, I knew it was broken. What's wrong with it? Oh, well, it's going to cost more money to dig into it. So I just never fixed it. And then the car ended up being this build. So there you go. I mean, just, just playing around just a little bit can show you how in-depth this scanner can go. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure if you have any comments or questions that you leave them down in the comment section below. This is a fantastic product. If I had the opportunity, I would absolutely get this SC530 again, right off the bat. That's the first thing I do. In fact, if I could do a lot of things over again, this would be the very first video on my channel. This is an absolute must, and it should be the very first thing you buy before really starting to work on cars like we do here on Tenza Motorsports. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like today's video if you enjoyed today's content and we'll see everybody in the next one.